Hey everyone, this is Jenny Streeby with Confessions of a Hairstyles, and today I'm gonna to show you guys how to get this gorgeous Dutch braided updo. It's really simple and it's perfect for fall time or any other holiday occasion. And make sure to stay tuned to the very, very end because I'm gonna give you guys an exclusive tip to how to take this hairstyle and make it really funky, a little bit editorial. I've been really into showing you guys like how to just change it up and really use basic techniques and get a really funky feel. So make sure to uh, stay tuned for that and let's go and get started. So Jen's hair is really, really fine textured. So what I'm gonna do to add a little bit of grip and hold to it is I'm actually gonna just spray a little bit of spray clay in there by Sexy Hair, just up the root area. This is gonna give us a lot of volume and like I said, just a little bit of grip to be able to um, work with our hair really nicely. So we're just gonna go ahead and spray it. Okay, so now all I'm gonna do is simply brush the hair back with my fingers because I want a really light, airy um, feel to this hairstyle. And basically, I'm going to start our Dutch braid fringe braiding technique on the top here. So I'm basically taking my fingers from high recession to her crown and I'm simply gonna do a simple Dutch braid technique. So I'm gonna divide the hair in three sections and working underhanded, I'm gonna take the section from the right side under the section in the middle and then it's gonna be in the middle. So now I'm gonna take the section to the left underhanded and go under into the middle. So now I'm gonna start incorporating hair from the sides. So I'm just gonna take my pinky finger and take a little bit of hair from our right side and incorporate that to our section that's to the right. So now we're gonna take that section to the right and go underneath into the middle. We're gonna repeat that same technique on the opposite side. So I'm gonna drop out our left section Take my peeking finger and simply take a little bit of hair, incorporate that into our section to the left. Going underneath, taking the section of hair into the middle. We're just gonna continue the same technique until we get to the nape of the neck. Now that I've gotten to the nape of her neck, I'm just gonna go ahead and continue our braiding technique, but we're not gonna be incorporating any hair into it because there's no hair left over. We're still working it underhanded. Now once I get to the ends, I'm gonna leave a couple inches out because I'm gonna pull this out so I don't want the elastic to travel too far down. So now basically all, all I'm gonna do is go ahead and pull the braid out a little bit. So you can see that I'm just simply pulling the hair out to make it nice and plump. This is great technique for fine textured hair because it makes your hair appear to be a lot thicker and fuller. So now I'm simply gonna take the ends of the hair and then simply roll it into the Dutch braid and then pin it into place. So now I'm simply just gonna finish this look off by a little bit of hairspray by Label M. And all I'm gonna do is just spray it a little bit, pull it on, pull on it just a little bit. And then detail the front out. I like the texture that she has, it's really nice and airy, so I'm just gonna even it out just a little bit more. Take the palms of my hands and just kind of massage the hair out to give it a little bit more of a whimsical feel and that is about it. 
So you can see that I've created a really gorgeous Dutch braided updo. It's really, really simple, but it gave it a really nice statement look. So now I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of twist on it and let's get a little funky on it. So basically all I'm gonna do is just really pull on the hair, get really, really aggressive. This is the type of hair that I really like to do. And I'm simply just gonna really pull on it, stretch it out, and you can see that I'm creating a different look completely by just pulling it out. I'm just gonna go ahead and use a little bit of hairspray as I'm working with this and then bobby pin a few of the pieces to the side just to detail it out. And you can see how that created a really nice editorial feel. And for more hair tutorials every single week, please subscribe to my channel and feel free to check me out on Instagram at The Confessions of a Hairstylist.